Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the string yes as the input, then split the string yes wherever a character repeats That is, wherever the character occurs repeatedly two or more times and then the program must print the substring as the output that is first we have to accept the string yes then split the string yes wherever a character occurs repeatedly that is two or more times then the program must print the substring as the output now we'll take our first test case so here we can see that yes is occurring for the first time so we'll have yes Then K is occurring for the first time. I is occurring for the first time. L is occurring for the first time. And now L is occurring for the second time. So now we'll print the, the substring. That is, we'll move down and we'll print L. Then we'll have R. Then we have A. Then we have C for occurring first. Then we, we have K, which is occurring for the second time so we'll move to the next line and this will be our output now we'll take our second test case so here is occurring for the first time n v i r o and n then we have m E and then we have n occurring for the second time so we'll move to the next line and this will be our output now we'll take our third test case So here we have A, B, C, then A is occurring for the second time. So we'll move to the next line and then B is occurring for the second time and then C is occurring for the second time. Then D is occurring for the second time. Then we'll have E, F, G. F and then we'll have G occurring for the first time then we have E occurring for the second time so we'll move to the next line so this will be our output now let us implement our program first we'll get the string yes as the input then we have to iterate over that is for index in range 0 comma len of yes then now we'll have the condition to check whether the two characters are same or not so if the s of index is in yes of colon index that is the character is same as the previous character means then we have to print new line and then 
print the s of index and use end argument so first we have to accept the string yes then for index in range 0 comma len of yes then if the s of index in s of colon index that is the character is same as the previous character means so if they are same then we have to print a new line after that so after printing a new line we have to print the yes of index and use end argument now we'll execute our program we'll pass our first test case so we have got the correct output now we'll pass our second test case so here also we have got the correct output I will pass our third test case. Here also we have got the correct output. Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. <laughs> Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.